Oh, what is this power accelerating? Boom. What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Sign Asian. My name is Shanks, and today we are on the map Westfold in a good against evil matchup once again in BFME 1 on the patch 2.2 to the version 3.5. Okay, so it's a good against evil matchup, my favorite, if Gondor versus Mordor. I mean, right off the bat, I need to say that this map kind of favoring the Mordor faction, obviously, because it's just big and Mordor with good map control scales very hard. And the bigger the map is, the crazy more impact an Nazgul or a Witch King will have. And also because of many settlements and the fact that Gondor has only two soldiers without the barracks, you will have enough money to get into the mid, mid game without a problem. That's why I would always suggest you to start with a barracks and a blacksmith on a map like Westworld, because you will need this additional reinforcement on the field to get through the early game without having to give Mordor too much money. Because look at the minimap. Mordor expanding like crazy. He has now already the foot, uh, the full wood bonus, which means 30% uh, discount on the structures. And that also means each building is gonna cost so much less. Um, does he not have heal? Now, he already used heal, okay? I think the fight, he used the heal a bit too late. Maybe the golem was a little bit annoying. But orcs will be able to... That's a perfect start for Mordor. Like, you can't have a better start than that one. Because he was even able to destroy the farm over at the bottom right side. Dude, Mordor has legit the time of his life. He has one, two, three, four, five lumber mills. Do you guys know what it means? Like, you can't even keep up with the speed of this money. Like, you gotta keep spamming S button on your on your base. S, 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 S all the time, you know? Because you can keep building slaughterhouses every two seconds with this much map control. Now he will even be able to destroy this farm. In the meantime, Gondor went for the stable, obviously, going for the first Gondor Knight. Um, he has only... I mean, he has also four farms outside and one farm inside. So he has also like 20% discount on his Gondor Knight, which means each of them will cost you 600 instead of 800. And this soldiers of Gondor will be killed by this Haradrims. Beautiful. I mean, perfect start. Like, he didn't lose anything. Mordor didn't lose anything. So you know what it means. Mordor is a full base, and without just wait a minute, you will have five thousand. You can go for a for a an Asgul before the third night of Gondor can make it out. That's how crazy this is gonna be. He's gonna commit now to this area top side. In the meantime, Mordor is creeping with the Aradrims. That's like an overkill. What I would like suggest you to do is to creep two things simultaneously. You know, like you don't need two Haradrims to creep. All you need is one Haradrim and two orcs. So you put one Haradrim to Orcs here, one Haradrim and two Orcs here. So you creep this side and this side at the same time. Like multitasking in macro is way more important for Mordor faction player, especially the big, uh, especially on big maps, you know? Because your units are not very valuable. If you lose Orcs, it's whatever, you know what I mean? So you have to do crazy macro in order to win the game fast. Because late game, Gondor is still very strong in a very big threat too because of the available summons you have the great company the summon rohan allies you have the eagles you have the aod and you have rangers you know so gondor is getting some map control back with the knights of gondor but there are some souls of rune basically the pikemen of mordor in the meantime hobbit was able to creep this layer he's a level 5 hobbit over here over here he will also get one part of the money and get the last on the creep too but he can't go for the money actually it's pretty good for Mordor, and this that's gonna be a second outpost. So two outposts for Mordor, and zero outposts for Gondor. What I like to do when I play Gondor here, I like outpost control, and I also like to get Boromir. Boromir, pretty good against runes, by the way. He will be outrunning them. And also you can creep Frolea, you can get him to level 4, which is gonna be very important for later on. But yeah, Mordor going for the industry. He has 2.5k, and he's creeping a lot. Gondor, not, met, not that much. He was creeping this, this, and now this. And this is legit the only creep he took so far. Mordor has two orc pits, that's good. Keep swimming orcs all the time. The recruit time is, you know, 30 seconds. But if you have like two orc pits, you will have orcs basically 50, every 15 seconds. Nice sneaky little attempt to rush the castle, but he has towers, you can't without upgrades. Gondor has one empty spot in the base. Does he have no money? He has money, actually. 
His 4.6k in the bank. Looks like he wanna rush Gandalf because no upgrades, no shields, no blades, no heavy armor, and 5,000. The two power points will be invested into turning his Gandalf from gray to white, and he needs 6,000 in total. But look at the minimap. <laughs> the map is looking pretty greenish to me. Hobbit was able to clock over here, seeing the outpost, outpost control, 3 out of 4, very good for Mordor. Let's hope that Gandalf can be game-changing hero. That Gandalf, I mean, Gandalf has definitely the capacity, what is this word? The ability to change the outcome of the game. But I don't know if he can do it all alone, you know? The creep is still remaining. 6,000 for Gondor, he's gonna get um, very soon. Gandalf on the field, he has full bees also. Marketplace would be amazing, he turned his Gandalf to white. And uh, Mordor is trying to creep with the orcs, going for a Nazgul. I wouldn't go for the Nazgul either, I would just go for the, uh, for the Witch King, but it's fine. You know, you will, you can make a Nazgul and you can still make the Witch King later on. You have time and enough money with this map control. He has now 4 out of 4 outposts under his control. That's pretty crazy. Full base, but we have Mifrandia. This has to be good for something. The White Rider has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. And we have one power point, he might go for the Elvin Wood if he wants to, you know, but again, you are against Mordor, he can always cover this, so I would be careful with that, he also went for the heavy armor, and in the meantime, the Nazgul was able to creep this, so the money will also go to Mordor, so Gondor has only one, Gondor has eight, as, as we are talking, Gondor has zero farms outside, like, this sounds crazy, but it's, nah, he has one farm, he's about to get the second one, there is a Gandalf, and we have two knights of, of Gondor. He has now three guys. I mean, he had three knights, but I think he lost one of them. He's gonna use the lightning sword. He actually caught him. Cancel it. Cancel it and use his study. Because it won't. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew it. You wanna cancel it? You wanna hurt him twice. Like, it had, it has to hit him twice, the lightning sword. Then you wanna cancel it, and you wanna use the his study. You don't need to do this when you catch exclusively the Nazgul, because then you can one-shot them, 100 to 0. But it was splitting the damage between Orcs, or Lumbermill workers, and the Nazgul, then it won't be able to kill him from 100 to 0. But it's fine, he's chunked, he can't commit, and this outpost will be destroyed. That's gonna be the first sign of life for the Gun of Action player. Okay, Mordor still phenomenal map control. Amazing, getting some towers, just why not. He has 2,500 in the bank. Gondor has only 500. And he needs very soon also some archers, you know? That's very important. What Mordor can do is demolish this and go for Troll Cage, Momo Kill Pan, and also um, the Siege Forks. But you want to do this after your Witch King is on the field. You know? With Witch King, you can bully this. Like, there is no archer. Ganov can't kill Witch King and also the Nazgul with two abilities, that's not possible. And the fact that Gondor has no archer range means you can do whatever you want with your Nazgul. Okay, we get more Orc Pits up on the field. Mordor is struggling command point wise. He's like command points kept as we are talking. That's a good thing though, because he can now save up for the Witch King without having to spend anything else for anything else. Troll Cage in the front, I don't like this that much because then this might happen, because he have heal. No, he has no heal, but he has Gandalf leadership. And there comes the Lightning Sword to catch the troll. Two hits. Lightning Sword is a very strong ability. And the, the troll kitch will fall. There comes the history plus shots from the Great Company. And that's all it takes. If you don't know, each level the heroes gain will also make their abilities deal more damage. So a level 5 history will deal like not too much less i mean not like there is not like a huge gap but there is a damage increase of like five percent so basically when you get to level 10 your e study will be able to one shot an as ghoul while at level five it will leave him at around 70 percent so just you for you to understand how much more damage you gain for each level you gain and nazgul of course can be revived for free true but it will take you three minutes and 15 seconds However, Mordor was able to get the Witch King upon the field, a hero which is way more durable compared to a compared to a Nazgul. Okay, 
This is not gonna work well, by the way. The Witch King is coming. You can't destroy this without destroying one of these three structures because the area is so tiny. It's gonna use the uh, Screech, which of course affects also units when they are level two. And Troll Cage, once again, big mistake. That's the second time he's losing the Troll Cage. Imagine it won't be here in the front, but here in the back. I can understand the reason behind this. He doesn't want to demolish a level two Slaughterhouse, but this way you lose way more, you know? Now again, do this what I said. Troll Cage, Siege Warwick, and Mumma Kill Pan. You don't need Orc Pit here because you have money. I mean, you should have money at least, you know? Because you have too many Orcs being idle, not doing too much. You want to always keep moving like, like this, constantly be annoying with the Orcs. That's their, that's their primary mission. And again, the same scenario, building the Troll Cage in the front for the third time. But Einstein said, doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different outcome. It's the definition of madness, my friends. And Gondor is getting, of course, more and more power points, but Mordor has now industry and also darkness. Darkness, however, the only real army he has, as we are talking, is our orcs now. So he needs... Yeah, I, I think you need combos. Like, maybe not four combos. I think that's a little bit overkill. Like, I believe two, maximum three combos are gonna do the trick. And the reason is here. The orc card just costs 30. So you make one combo, this and this, you invest 50 of your command points into one combo. But you want to have trolls too. They also cost 20 command points each, right? So long story short, you make four combos. It's 200 command points, right? And you basically have also orcs running around the map for pressure and harassment purposes. It's not good. Three combos, because they are only purpose. They don't need to do anything else. They just need to kill the eagles later on. Because your trolls can kill everything else. Your trolls, your Nazgul, your Witch King. So four, I don't think it's enough. It's too much. It's like necessary. But I think it's okay too. You know, it's not like big, not like a big deal. It's like a small improvement tip. Boromir upon the field, level three. If he gets level four, it's going to be a big move. He's going to go for the summon Rohan Elias. Which are gonna be used around this location to destroy this catapult. Witch King should be using Screech to deny them from reaching to this catapult. Beautiful shot. But I think this Rohirrim should still make it there. Yeah, and they will be able to finish it off. Yeah. But in the meantime, Witch King is killing more of his own units than from the opponent. The trolls can commit to this and destroy the part of the wall. In the meantime, Gondor is retre retreating with his two highly leveled Gondor Knights. Actually, both of them level 10 and Gandalf. Who's level 7. Ganav can use Lightning Sword here if it's available. Yeah, it's available. And he can also use the Easter Light. He will be able to use only on one of them. One troll is unintentionally going inside the castle. I mean, of course, it was not intended. There comes the Darkness. And that also kind of forces now the Mordor to commit. But he has no Drama Troll yet, as we are talking. Darkness is powerful, Witch King is powerful. But Drama Troll is even more important than that. Because it's the best leadership in the game. Mordor isn't as rich as I was expecting him to be because he has only one worker here, two workers, actually not, he has four workers here uh, but I think I you would need more workers, like you would need like eight workers here, eight workers here because now the trees around the structure are gone and they gotta walk a walk long distance the longer they need to walk, the more lumber mill workers you actually need like, like I said, if you make eight, it might be overkill at some point but it's, I think it's always good to have like around 8 workers on each lumber mill you build, you know? Okay. They can go for a trample, by the way. Is Bizarre Plus available? No, it's not available. He's gonna cover immediately, that's good. Now they need to disengage. They are level 10. They are quite tanky against arrows. Very tanky. And your combos are only level 2 or level 3 max. The troll is coming. Focusing, the second part of the wall will be broken. The Nazgul is chilling over here. And in the meantime, Gondor is preparing for a push with three archers of Gondor and one ranger. Ganav has full HP, healed at the well, and also he has the heal from the spellbook. Now Ganav is coming, coming in clutch. Boom, chakalaka. Without uh, land, they still die though. 
because darkness was not available anymore i believe now it was still available i mean the wizard plus is just hitting like a truck there comes the lightning sword he will be able to kill the remaining orcs and it's like a big w for gondor he was able to defend himself after losing two parts of the wall now gondor is not equal to repair the wall but he has plenty of towers inside the castle or out around the castle which king will be chunked by the easter light and has to disengage he has also three combos like i like i'm, like I'm saying i think he's investing way too many of his command points for combos like you make one combo with drama troll and two three catapults it's enough to defend trust me that one it's enough to defend and this one combo the only purpose the only reason why you need firepower in this matchup as mordor against gondor is are the eagles that's the only reason you don't need fire arrows for any other reason you know three combos without leadership Gondor is committing now to the outpost. This is a very valuable outpost with level 2 troll cage. But it has like barely any pro any um see it protection. The siege wars will be destroyed. Gondor is now reclaiming map control, boys. He has two outposts. He's about to get the third one. The Nazgul is coming. And that's a big chunk. Watch the power points. You get like a quarter for killing one catapult. That's a big, big, big thing. And they will now be forced to disengage, but it's fine. As um they destroyed the two most valuable structures. Now the Eagle Summon is available from the Spellbook of Gondor. Mordor has 10 power points in the pocket. It's also pretty decent. And Witch King is getting chunked. Um, the towers not dealing too much damage, but dealing constant damage. And also being quite tanky against Witch King and Nazgul's. Alright, he's gonna summon the Rohirrim allies to trample. Again, no, no drama troll was nearby. There comes the Eagle Summon. That's a good combo, by the way. You summon the Rohirrim, they don't kill the combos, but they knock them down on the ground so they can't deal any counter damage. Witch King is being chunked by the Rangers. Lots of firepower here. Ganaf wasn't in the range to use the Istari. One of the Eagles is gone. This Nazgul is overcommitting. Doesn't even need to use the Istari, but he's gonna use it. Overkill with the warning arrow from Faramir. Boromir has to be getting a bit closer to eventually get to share experience to get to level 4. Level 10 knights of Gondor are demolishing. There comes the Easter Light on the Mount Doom. The Baradur is gonna be fallen. That's what that's how simply you can walk into Mordor, ladies and gentlemen. Big push. In the meantime, Mordor is preparing for a counter push, but his beast is falling apart. The 10 level 10 knights of Gondor, they don't gotta, they don't need to stop. Heal is available. That is a combo which Ganov can blast. In the meantime, Mordor is going for a counter push. The Witch King is still alive, but he gotta be disengaging. The level 10 are immune. Heal is gonna be used only on the archers. The level 10 is gonna get away. Ganov is still full HP. The level 3 slaughterhouse is tanky, but there are three combos. Two drummer trolls and darkness is available. He's gonna join them with Witch King too, and now their damage output is gonna be quite nutty. As the Knights of Gondor got kind of damaged by the towers, Mordor is kind of in a safe spot, but the next push from Gondor will be able to destroy everything. Um, he's going for multiple towers. Gondor is kind of having a good amount of money. He has like around 6k because of double outposts and multiple level 3 farms outside, right? I mean, actually, he has only one level 3 farm outside, but still, he has like all of the structures level 3, so in late game, you kind of get lots of money. He's gonna give them banner to get them to level 2 for the Black Orcs for more DPS. And Gondor will lose the castle first. That's very interesting because all the summons beside Great Company are on cooldown. He's gonna build the stable at the outpost here. Ganav is coming, but there is a Mumma kill. You gotta be careful with the charge. Beautiful. Oh, 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 okay. That was close, actually. Oh my goodness. Can Gondor save this? No way. He's gonna use the lightning sword on the Mumma Kill. Chong, 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 Chong. Gandalf, the Mumma Kill killer. He's gonna go now, but the building is building up. Witch King has to be careful. One catapult shot, and the castle has been destroyed. In the meantime, Gondor is going for a count today with plenty of rangers, Faramir, but, and also Boromir. They are strong, but they are not strong enough. They are only level 3, that's their base level, when they get recruited. And without, <clears throat> without level 4, oh my goodness, did I hear, yeah! 
Gondor has no money for the for the beast just yet. Breath fire. He missed this hit. But he will be able to buy the castle back. And also, Mordor was able to defend his bees. What is Boromir and Faramir doing? They are chilling. Mumma kill finish them. Okay, he's paying attention now. Beautiful hit with the Witch King. Balrog is flying. I like the idea behind this move. But maybe he does know that Gondor was able to reclaim his castle. But still, if you destroy this outpost, it's pretty decent. Nazgul being chunked by the Easter Light and overcommitting, the Citadel will now be able to kill him. We hear the Rohirrim summon um, to finish off the castle, which might be finished by the way, but the Citadel is almost built up at 100%. Thank you so much for the for the sub, Jen, Mister, with the Prime. Really means a lot. Holy! By the way, I'm not even streaming right now, guys. Jan Mistress just subscribed. Welcome to Beyond Standard Dude, Screen. Jan Mistress, if you are watching this at YouTube, I was not even streaming on Twitch. You are the hero of this game, by the way. You are the hero of this video. I mean, I'm not, I'm offline, guys. Okay, I'm not even streaming. And this, my friend, Jan Mister, dropping on an offline stream to drop us up. What a legend, dude. What a legend. Thank you so much, man. Holy. Oh my goodness, man. I was not expecting this one, actually. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. The Mordor Beast is safe. Gondor Beast is built up. But you can see the money from Gondor is not very good. And even if he builds the bees, all structures will be level 1. So, but in the meantime, the level 10 Gondonites are able to destroy the outpost one by one. Witch King is coming. Easter Day will be used, but he doesn't need to be worried about this. Getting chunked around 50% HP. But Witch King, compared to, of course, the Nazgul, is way more durable. But eagles, now you want to charge, you want to attack something. If you attack something, you are as fast as the eagles, it will never be able to catch you. Just target something manually, but he doesn't, and Witch King will fall. Alright, Connor has to invest money into all of this. He never went for the marketplace, that's one of the reasons why he's so poor. Mordor is now the bottom side, and Gondor is taking the top side. The, big, the game is really back and forth, you know? One player takes the top side, the other player in return takes the bottom side and then they swap again uh, they were uh, you know Mordor was able to destroy the castle Gondor was almost able to destroy the castle but EOD is available now EOD is available now in a dream world what Gondor needs to do is make like four knights of Gondor wait for the Rohirrim summon in Grey Company use EOD to kill what's left in the castle I mean the trolls and the Mumma kill then use Rohirrim summon in your knights of Gondor to fully commit Mordor now went for the scavenger in late game Nobody can match with the resource income generation of the evil factions. Like we are talking industry, devastation, scavenger, you know, which is basically like a pillage. Level 3 farm is quite tanky, but level 2 orcs are also slapping. Gondor has the full map at the top, Mordor has the full map at the bottom. But Mordor has lost his Nazgul and his Witch King. Witch King can also be revived just like a Nazgul for free, but it's gonna take you four minutes in total. Four minutes. You need to understand what four minutes is. Four minutes is basically like the cooldown of the Rohan allies. That's what four minutes is. You know, it's a long time. He has also archers on top, shooting, but dealing not enough damage. Gandalf is like, be gone. <laughs> Tell your master to come here, you servants of Morgoth. Archer range. He was able to finally build up the bees, but Balrog is going to be available soon again. In the meantime, Mordor is kind of not having a good time. I mean, to be honest, if Mordor loses this game after having such a phenomenal start, then maybe evil just shouldn't rule the Middle Earth. And Gandalf is almost level 10 too. Almost level 10. Level 3 farms. This hurts so much. If you lose this, you know. This hurts so much. The Nazgul, beautiful. Killed the whole battalion with one strike. And you get 20 for each kill. So he gets, he gets 100 for killing those archers. You know, that's so good.
Will we see a water power in this game? That's the big question. Throke is level 2. Mordor. Not very rich either. But he's gonna get money from the scavenger. From the industry. The vestation. The vestation every 4 minutes. This is always active. And this also every 4 minutes. Yeah, now getting more experience. Outposts. He has now 3 outposts and Mordor is only 1. If he can keep this advantage and get the last outpost. This could be the win condition of Gondor. All he needs is this outpost over here and then fully commit to the castle. But Mordor in the meantime was able to build the army Warfare of Sauron. Okay, we have one, two, three, four trolls, two drama trolls, and also Witch King and the two Nazgûs are back in the business. And they're actually committing to this area. Here comes the Great Company Summon to support this. And there is a ranger inside, but again, there are three flying creatures. Even though you deal significant damage, but three of them are still hard to be dealt with. But for now, they will disengage. Still a win condition, a win situation for Mordor, because he was forcing his opponent to use a summon defensively. In the meantime, Ganov and one of the Gondor Knights are committing to this outpost, which is the last remaining outpost from Mordor. I'm losing my voice, because it's a long game, you know? Balrog summon available very soon. We hear darkness, and immediately being countered by... See it? By the cloud break. Cloud break. And the trolls are smashing. Every building is only level 1 or maximum level 2. It means trolls can crush this in a second. Gondor making the big mistake investing money into the towers, but the towers won't stop the trolls. In the meantime, Gondor was able to get the last outpost from Mordor. Just use EOD and defend your castle. Just use EOD. And defend your castle but he's refusing to use eud and will lose 5000 and unfortunately for gondor oh what is this power of selling actually this throw this throws didn't die but still a very questionable barrocks i'm not gonna die oh oh heal he's a lightning sword which catch 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 witch king I'm a servant of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of Arnor. Oh. But he has the white wizard. This has to be good for something. And old Nazgûs and Witch King will be slain by the attempt of killing the Mifrandia. And this Balrog is idle, he's chilling. I mean, obviously it's a long game and when you when the longer the game goes on the more mistakes you're gonna make because you lose your focus there is so much stuff happening and it's a oh beautiful EOD. okay oh my goodness that's this could be something but more the captured the castle from Mort from gondor there's no way and he's gonna also get the outpost this who would have thought that this four trolls with two drama trolls would be causing such a devastating amount of damage? What? He legit sent four trolls and two drama trolls and they destroyed the full castle by themselves and now the outpost. These are not regular trolls. These are Olokai. But the Mordor be so tanky, you know? It's level 3, obviously, you know, it's like everything is highly level, level 2, level 3, but I think it's gonna fall now. Because he has no Nazgul to protect. I don't know when Farami and Boromir died, but I think it's not even worth to revive them anymore. Maybe Farami is good, but Boromir, how can he level up at this point, you know, it's gonna be mission impossible. Look at the trolls, man. What? Is Ganev level 10? Yeah, Ganev is level 10. 9 power points, but he can't pick anything from the spell book. And Mordor is about to lose the castle. But he has a second castle around this location. And he even used the Call the Heart. Built me an army worthy of Mordor, ladies and gentlemen. And Gondor has only these two remaining outposts at the top side. That's what it is. What? This is crazy, man. <laughs> How much money does Gondor have? 3,000. So he needs like 2,000, but it's easier said than done. Because look at the minimap. We see one two farms for gondor three farms for gondor and that's it right this 
missing 2000 will cost them four minutes legit like the problem what he has also is he has zero blacksmiths as we are talking so he gotta pay the full price on every upgrade so he needs to invest 600 for the fire arrow and 500 for the banner this is crazy you know you need map control my friend trolls are coming trolls against me friend here oh oh be careful yep 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 you shall not pass i'm a servant of this oh what is happening here orcs mm, looks like meat's back on the menu orcs i mean i know it's boys but the drama trolls are going down by the great company special summon gondor is still at 3000 you know what could be changing this outcome of the game if Boro Woods not only hit level 4 but level like 7 or 8 for the pillage you know but alone is level 4 upgrade uh, leadership will would make those rangers hit way harder you get 60 percent damage boost which will be so helpful when it comes to kill those nazgus trolls mumma kills and then witch king you can kill them in a second trolls are going ham but there is a ranger inside but no statue and uh, the out the city is gonna be good it's a normal regular archer actually boom slap 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 and um, if you are wondering the scavenger is way more valuable than a pillage so there are pillage abilities on heroes for example on lords or the outlaw leadership on eoma or the glory of condor ability on Boromir. these are also generating money but this is by far not as strong as scavenger scavenger is double the value so when you get four for killing with a pillage ability you get like eight when scavenger is active and it's active on the whole map and it's active permanently there's like a great alternative to something like a um industry because usually people always go for the industry but i'm pretty certain that 3.6 the upcoming version of the patch 2.2 is going to change the meta in the meantime uh, we have the rohirrim summon full commitment on the brand new castle but mordor was also able to get this castle he has now two castles under his control end of level 10 the war of power is still on cooldown in the meantime, the Nazgûs and the Witch King are committing to the last remaining outpost at the top side. Build me an army worthy of Mordor. Increase production speed on the orcs. He's gonna use the lightning sword on the units and also on the Baradur. <clears throat> Lots of units around this area. This outpost will be falling into darkness. But remember, Mordor has no money, but he has two castles this baradur is gonna be destroyed gandalf can go for a juice with a plus here will he go for it boom chakalaka go back to the shadow but there comes the cavalry you know two nazgus and the witch king and you have no count they have only horses but you have the eagles the eagles are coming dude this is like deja vu from the films it's gonna turn and use the easter light to kill one of the fell beasts and the eagles will be finishing the next one only witch king will be able to survive but it's all fine because witch king is all it matters mordor super broke but gondor also super broke he has like few farms this lumber mill worker is about to destroy this one and he has two outposts against two castle dude witch king is gonna get eventually killed there comes ganda for a beautiful wizard blast heal him heal him heal him heal him heal him Heal, 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 Plus 500 for killing the level 10 Gan of the White. Okay. And very soon he will have the Balrog summon. Now, here's. Now, that's a very winning condition because Gan was legit the only win condition he had. He has not even money to revive. His Nas Gan for 3.5k. There comes the Balrog. He knew it's the time for him to pop off and get up his dead, you know. That now there is nothing that can kill him. And oh, ooh, one shot. One opportunity. Just fly to the next one. Trample time. Dude, Balrog is such a cool design unit. Level 10. Feast on his flesh. Balrog is flying to bring the end of the race of man as last samurai 
it's no more did you played i hope you guys enjoyed this game if you did you know what to do smash the like button subscribe for more like this in the future i will see you next time until then take care of yourself keep hitting like a track and as always stay beyond standards peace out boys